The Dairy Today Report is brought to you by John Deere and your local John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. In our Dairy Today report, top U.S. officials say they're beginning work on a transatlantic trade and investment partnership. The plan is to come to terms and remove trade barriers between the U.S. and EU. And that could have big implications for dairy farmers. Dairy Today editor Jim Dickrell explains. Both the National Milk Producers Federation and the U.S. Dairy Export Council welcomed President Obama's announcement last week that the United States will launch trade negotiations with Europe. Currently, Europe enjoys a $1.2 billion trade surplus in dairy with the United States. Last year, the United States sold just $88 million worth of dairy products to the Europeans, which is less than 2% of our total dairy exports. National Milk and the Dairy Export Council look forward to the negotiations if they tackle regulatory reforms. For example, the EU blocks the sale of generically labeled cheeses made in the United States, such as Parmesan and feta. Analysts say negotiating these and other agricultural issues will be the toughest part of the trade talks. For more on the negotiations, go to dairytoday.com. For Dairy Today, I'm Jim Dickrell. Thanks, Jim. The governor of South Dakota spent last week in California at the World Ag Expo. He's hoping to double the state's dairy herd of 92,000 cows. He and other state officials are promoting South Dakota, hoping to lure more dairies to the state. They say several cheese plants are there and are planning to expand. More cows are needed to fill the demand. Also out of California, dairy officials in that state are asking the FDA to crack down on the use of the word yogurt. Western United Dairymen filed the complaint with the feds objecting to soy, rice and others calling their products yogurt. FDA says it's looking at the issue.